In this Microsoft Teams training video, we look at the commonly used features. How to hold a call, that's when you're on a call, when to place somebody on hold, it's only for you. We're going to look at parking a call, that's placing a call on effectively a global hold, and your colleagues can pick that call up from any Microsoft Teams client, including the mobile, and then transferring a call. So I have an active call open. Here are all the features that are available to us on a call. Pressing the hold key, that it pops up into the left hand side so that we can continue to use Teams um, without it kind of consuming our day. Call can be resumed, pressing the resume key. Now placing a call on park. Park the call, goes to the top left hand side again and we can see a park code. Now under the speed dial button and located at the top is a park calls icon. If we press that into the corresponding digit, voila, the call is picked up and placed through to the user. Now the last one is how to transfer a call. Now other videos have looked at a consultative transfer, so we'll look at the transfer. So in here we could put any telephone number that we I wanted to, or we can put in a name of anybody that might be using Microsoft Teams. In my case, I'll look up Alan. I can see he's available. On the transfer side, I get the option to transfer it to his work, which is his Microsoft Teams client, straight into voicemail, or in fact, his mobile. In this case, let's choose mobile. Once the call's transferred, Effectively, we'll see the little icon on the extreme left-hand side disappear, and we know the call has gone.